as recorded by John. The words of Jesus in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I'll come in and I'll sup with him and he with me. Hello, True Vision. Again, weekly we come to you and we share these uh, moments with you. Um, I want to talk to you today about God just knocking at the door of our hearts, um, the opportunity he has. And if, if, we're in a series called If, if anyone hears my voice. Sometimes we're too independent. Sometimes we're just too busy for God. Sometimes we don't want to be bothered with God. Well, you know, God is an awesome God. I want to pray that we huh, take advantage of the opportunities God gives us when he's knocking on the door through circumstances and situations in our life, when he's trying to get in to our life. You know what God wants to do? He'll come in, he'll sup with us, take whatever we offer, and guess what? He'll then become the host. And you know what? God knows how to host. You ought to talk to David where he talks about how he prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You ought to talk to those 5,000 plus that day when Jesus only had a little bit. And guess what? He fed everybody. And there were even uh, other things left over after that. God wants to come in your life, wants to come into your heart. I'm talking to you, believer. He wants to have a greater intimacy with you. Let him in. Let him take over. Let him host. I want to pray with you now that we would be sensitive to the Lord's knock. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to be sensitive to when you are trying to get our attention, sensitive to when you're trying to give us direction, sensitive to when you're trying to tell us to go back and go another way. Thank you, God, that you knock on our doors. Thank you that you love us enough and you won't forget about us. Thank you, God, for being there for us. And thank you for continuing to knock, even when we didn't answer the first time or the second time or the third time. Thank you for not leaving us and forsaking us. Lord, I pray your blessing upon True Vision Church. I pray your blessing upon our walk and our talk. Lord, bless our day. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. True Vision, thanks for being with me today. I want to remind you that I'm also posting every day up until November the 6th and the uh, presidential elections. I'm posting on my Facebook page. I'm posting on the church Facebook page. I'm posting on the Baptist Ministers Union Facebook page every day, just giving you something to pray about. Look at the page today. Pray with us today about business. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for letting me spend time with you today. Bye-bye. Love you.